Hi, this is Arna with Open Dental, and I was asked to just put together a short explanation video of how insurance fees work within Open Dental, and specifically how the production when you're working with PPO plans works. And so Open Dental does have support for the, the PPO fee schedules. However, Open Dental as a convention, what we do is actually use the full office fee when actually treatment planning and billing procedures, and we take into account that there's going to be a write-off. And so the, the fee schedule that is used, what we consider an office fee schedule, is the fee schedule that's assigned to the patient's primary provider. So under our family module, our primary provider is listed here as Dr. Abbott, and if you double click in, you can actually see and change the primary provider for that patient. So whenever treatment is added for this patient, it's going to use Dr. Abbott's fee schedule. To see what fee schedule is assigned to a provider, you can go to lists and providers. And when you double click into a provider, you'll see the fee schedule that's assigned. Now typically this is always going to be the office fee schedule. There may be a few instances where you have specialists or providers that bill using a a different fee schedule, but for the most part, practices tend to set their fees as a global thing. And for that reason, as a convention, what I recommend we do as a best practice is actually have your office fee schedule as the top option on your fee schedule list. So when you create a new provider, the office fee schedule is automatically selected because Open Dental will just automatically default to whatever fee schedule is at the top of this list. You can change it, but if it's already your office fees, then when you set up a new provider, you simply click OK. Now this patient I have added insurance for, and they do have a PPO plan. So if I double click into this plan, I want to explain a little bit about how this works. So this patient is insured through Blue Cross Blue Shield, and I have the plan set to PPO percentage. And the logic that works here is that when the patient has a PPO plan, the office fee will be billed to insurance into the account module, but the difference between the provider fee, the office fee, and the fee schedule listed in the plan right here, this BCBS, will be a write-off. The other thing that also applies is your benefits. So you've got your 180-50, your 180-60, depending on those plan breakdowns. But when you're looking at production, you are doing a gross production of your office fee. However, your adjusted production will be the difference between your office fee and the listed fee schedule. So let's treatment plan a few procedures just to see how that will look. And the first thing I want to do is actually come up to our fee schedules and just take a look at those fees before we pop them on the treatment plan. So under lists and procedure codes, you can access your fee schedules. So the first fee schedule we're looking at is our office fees. The second one I want to compare to is our Blue Cross Blue Shield or this BCBS. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a periodic evaluation, a D0120, and the office fee for this is $98. However, the second fee schedule, oh, let's go back to it, is this $90. And so the difference between the $98 and the $90, which is what the insurance will actually pay, is $8, and that will be our anticipated write-off. I'm also just going to grab a... We'll grab a crown code just to run that as well. So right here we have a PFM where our office fee is $1,250, but the insurance, let's change that. We don't want to take $200. Let's say it's a $500 reimbursement. And so the difference between those of $750 is the expected write-off. The reason I'm grabbing two different codes is just to show you in the treatment plan how the 100% versus the 60% looks, that's all. Okay, so in the chart module, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add a crown. So we'll do a 2750 on tooth number three here. And I'm also going to add a periodic evaluation here. And when I add those two procedures, notice how it's using the 98 and the 1250 instead of the insurance fees. This is actually what we want, and I'll show you why in our treatment plan. So over in our treatment plan module, I'm going to grab that 2750 and that 0120, and I'm just going to save those as their own treatment plan. 
just so we're looking at just those numbers. And so the first line that we have here, we've got that the office fee is $98. Because this patient it has insurance, the primary insurance is going to pay 100% of their fee schedule at $90. And their discount for being in a PPO plan is $8 and the patient responsibility is nothing. And so this discount is this write-off. For the crown here, we've got that we're billing at $12.50. However, the insurance fee schedule, the max allowed that they'll accept as a covered amount is $500. For crowns, they're at 60% coverage, which means that the insurance company will pay $300. There'll be a $750 discount slash write-off, and the patient will be liable for the $200 difference. When I come back to the chart, and I'm going to double-click into this crown, in your procedures, you'll have the full fee, and you'll also have these what we call claim procs. When I double click into this, this will give us a little bit more information. So we'll see that the office fee is $1250, that the PPO allowed amount is $500, that we're covered at $60, the estimated write-off is $750, and the estimated patient portion is $200. Now these can be manually manipulated if you need to, however if you've got your fee schedule set up correctly, there should be no need to do this. Just to note, when you're doing prosthesis, you do need to mark them as initial or replacement. Open Dental doesn't assume that they're going to be one or the other, and so you will get this warning. I'm going to ignore it for now, but if you get this, this is why. Okay. So a big question that a lot of people have is about their appointment views. You do have the ability to actually set production on your appointment view. So when you schedule work in an operatory, I'm going to just add these crown and the 0120, we'll see that we've got, and I must have grabbed a different procedure code than the one that I treatment plan, but we see that we are, oh no I didn't, we're producing 1348, however we're only going to net 590 by the end of that appointment. And the reason for that is Open Dental is taking into account the write-offs. So for those of you who don't have the production showing on your appointment view, under Setup and Appointments, you can set your appointment views, and you can do this per view, so we double click into this all, to actually include production in the main list. If it's not available, it is on your available rows, you simply grab a hold of the production and arrow it across, and it will show up on your appointments. So one thing to note is until the patient actually has the claim and the payment is received, they are still technically liable for that 1348. So you are extending the favor of filing the claim for them. However, if they come back as uninsured or they come back as not eligible for benefits, the patient's not responsible for the 590, the adjusted production. You're not going to take those write-offs. You're going to bill them for the full office fee. So it's really important to understand that's the methodology behind this is to make sure that when you're setting these procedures complete, you're billing your full fee with a good faith write-off. However, sometimes that's not the case and you don't want to have to go back and manually change everything. So the other thing that you may be interested in tracking before you actually see your patients is your scheduled production. So under reports, in your monthly production and income, so if we go to this month, and I'm going to just pull this across real quick, any production that is scheduled for the day can, um, it, it, any scheduled production in the month will show in your scheduled column. Now notice how this is showing the 1348. Open Dental does have the option under setup to subtract the monthly production and income reports to subtract the PPO write-offs. And when I do that and we run this monthly report again, notice how my production dropped down to that 590, which is the adjusted production based on the fact that we've got PPO insurance in play. So for those providers that are only interested in seeing their adjusted production, I'll show you this one more time. Go to Setup, 
and monthly production and income scheduled production subtracts the PPO write-offs. That'll get you that number that you're actually looking for instead of that inflated gross. So I know a lot of people are interested in just tracking what it is they're expecting to get paid. We'll come back to these reports again, but what I want to show you now is now that I've got this appointment out of the way, when I set this procedure complete, so if I'm just going to set the appointment complete, and we go to the account module. So this patient, I should have cleaned this up a little bit. I'm just going to receive this claim real quick so we've got a, a zero account balance. Okay, so we... 1540, I'm just going to add an adjustment, oh, never mind, it doesn't matter too much. I was trying to be clever and grab an established patient when I started this. But right now we've billed out the $98 and the $1250, and that does give us a running total of the full production. However, when you create your claims in Open Dental and click OK, again, ignore this, I just haven't got this database set up for a full clinical application, it's just a, a demo database. But when we create this claim, notice how we have that the estimated payment pending is $360. Open Dental takes into account the write-off and it, it's applying a deductible and the patient portion is estimated to be 230. What this is doing is then giving us an estimated balance here. Our insurance estimate is the sum of both what the payment pending is and the write-off. So Open Dental is pulling that out as an insurance estimate, but again, until that claim gets paid, it technically is the patient's responsibility. But Open Dental then takes that write-off into account. When the payment comes back in, we double-click in and we enter payment by procedure. Open Dental will pop those write-offs. It already calculated them out. So when those EOBs come in, the write-offs should be correct. However, you can adjust them as needed. But when this payment is received, the patient, pay, um, the insurance payment, if it doesn't match, you can change it. But when you click OK and you finalize that payment, that's when the insurance estimate is resolved and then the patient's balance is whatever it states to be, $130. On your reports, you have the option to track your write-offs in one of two ways. So in your daily production and income for today, when I look at this report, I'm just going to bring this up real quick. So I have the, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can see this a bit better. Okay, so we've got our 12.50 and our 98, and I'm taking the write-offs today of $8.750. And the reason it's posting today, regardless of how I have it set up, is because you have the option to do the date of service or the date of payment. And what we have here at the bottom is our total production, which takes into account our production, any adjustments, and takes out the write-off. So our adjusted, even though we produced $13.48 worth of work today, our adjusted production is $590. So under setup, you have the option to default to either using the procedure date for PPO write-offs or using the insurance date. Now by default, Open Dental will write off on the date of claim payment in reporting. However, you can change it to use the procedure date if that's how you want to track it. And again, this is entirely up to you, but when you've got your plan set up as PPO percentage and the fee schedule attached where we're calculating those write-offs, one way or another, you want those write-offs to apply. And if you do it on the date of insurance, then you know your write-offs are correct. However, um, the work was technically produced a couple of weeks ago, and so you're taking those write-offs as a delay, or you can take them on the date of service. And the the disadvantage of doing that is that your reports could technically change. So if you've got your fee schedules in the system and the write-off is either lesser or greater than what you were expecting when, on the day that you ran that report, when you enter your insurance payment, it will go back and change that historical record. So doing it for the date of service, although it sounds attractive, you have to be really diligent that if there's any changes that your financial reports may change slightly. And so that's something to take into consideration. 
other than that, that's about Open Dental's production in a nutshell. And like I said, you do want to use your full fee throughout the system for a number of reasons. And besides the fact that you can bill the patient and you can track your write-offs, you also have the PPO utilized the PPO write-off report. And so this is a, a really handy report to oh, we'll go a little bit further. So PPO write-offs. So I'm just going to go January and we'll go into February. Okay. This will show you the, the patients, the carriers, the standard fee and the PPO fees as well as the write-offs so that you can actually make informed decisions about which insurance companies you want to remain in relationships with and it might help you evaluate the health of your relationships with some of those carriers. And so it's a really important thing to think about as a business owner, the amount of loss that you're taking when being in network and then you can sort of weigh up and make some informed decisions based on the data that you have given to you. So that's about it for, for this segment. If you do have any questions, do feel free to either contact support. We do have our Open Dental User Group Facebook group that a lot of you are members of and we do have our Open Dental Forum. We also have our web manual that has a an absolute wealth of knowledge and to get to your web manual if you've never done it before. Under help, an online help index will get you to a search page. I'm just going to pull this out. You can search for almost any topic including production and income. And so if we bring this page up, we actually go through in quite a little bit of detail how production adjustments and income are defined and how it works within Open Dental. And we have a web page for almost everything in the program. So we, we try and keep our documentation as concise and up to date as possible. So you can always search for keywords. And we also have the discussion forum. So if you've never visited that, it's worth signing up. And this is our forum where you can actually come and ask questions of different users in the Open Dental community. And so both of those are great resources for you. So um, do utilize those if you have the opportunity to. And if you have any questions about this, please do contact us and we'd be happy to, to help you out. But I just wanted to put this together really quickly so that you had a little bit of a, a resource and go-to guide. We'll also get a web manual page going for you as well. All right. I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by and listening.